Any idea how hard it is to edit footage when this little monster keeps trying to eat your keyboard? Admit it, Lewis. Admit it. He's not gonna own up to it. <laughs> so he, uh, he tries to pick my keys off the keyboard one by one. If my laptop is open, because he's a little jerk, but he's the cutest little jerk in the whole world. His name's Lewis. Bye, Lewis. Hey, friends. So one of the weird side effects of the medications that I'm on is I will have these like half awake, half asleep, crazy dreams and or nightmares. And I had those like all night last night until the very early hours of the morning. So I wake up yelling or if, you know, the cat touches me, I freak out and scream or something like that. So it, it's just uh, not my favorite and pretty tiring. And then I woke up with a migraine. So I'm gonna turn this light off. Try to let the migraine medication set in. If you're wondering, my migraine is not left. But one thing that is helpful is caffeine. So we made ourselves some coffee and I have my counselor coming over. I, uh, I've been going to counseling once a week for a while now. And um, I don't know if you think it's weird that I share that, but I'm pretty open about the stuff that I go through in general. I was told by a fellow amputee before I went through any of this that it is super important to learn how to grieve the loss that you've been through. And so um, I wasn't counseling before all of this happened. I, I kind of figured that after my amputation, like all of counseling would just be about the loss and the grief and learning to deal with it and everything. And you know, it hasn't been. Uh, I kind of thought all my emotional priorities would rearrange. And the weird thing to me is that all of the things that were difficult <laughs> um, and that I initially went to counseling for before surgery are still the, the hardest things, the heaviest things on my mind. We spent like one session talking about specifically my amputation and then it's come up like a couple other brief times with like a few things I've struggled with but for the most part it's still been like trauma counseling for the like past stuff that I've gone through and it's funny because I don't know about you but I, I kind of thought that like when I went through something life-changing like this all of my priorities would rearrange which I think is probably a pretty naive thought and um, I guess in a way that's kind of a good thing so I, I have a counselor in place to help me when and if emotions come up from my amputation, but at the same time, um, we're still working on the stuff that needs to be worked on. So, so far so good. So I'm gonna sip some coffee, get some counseling done, get my brain in a better place. I just like smoking your coffee. Oh, it does, it smells delicious. Your, your weed is seat time. Is your butt on fire? <laughs> I wouldn't know, I'm on drugs. This butt is on fire. <laughs> For real though, like what's burning? I don't know. Is my ass on fire? So realistically, <clears throat> Brian decided that I needed an outing and we are going to Office Depot to find an office chair because that's the kind of life we lead. On the edge, crazy. We're gonna find him a race car office chair seat because he's five. Make it sound like a five year old. <laughs> we get to go down the ramp. This is, this is pretty, this is, oh my God. They're terrifying, but there's like obstacles. They don't care for the hands. It's terrifying. <laughs> We've arrived. Candy. You want that? Uh, yes. We got that last year, didn't we? Uh, yes. Remember? Because I think we're candy addicts. You're a loser. Do you remember how annoying these things were? I'm trying to decide if I need. Right? One of these or not. I think the answer is no. They're super annoying and they never die. But they remind me of my childhood. Which wasn't that good, if I remember. It, it, it was, I mean, it was all right. 